ladies and gentlemen, this is the podcast to have a name. I don't think I'm going to name it, but the thing that I think we're going to do is uh, co-host it. Matt's probably going to co-host it, so go check out BEO. Yeah, BEO, BEO. Link in the description. Matt, what do you do? Uh, I do uh, I do the music stuff. I do the, the drawing thingies, like uh, when, you, when you take the pen and you put the pen or the pencil and you put it on the paper. Right after the paper. Right onto the, the paper, paper and then boom, you make, it's crazy. You make the pictures, you make the prettiest. Yeah, and you make p- the pretty p- pictures of the pretty and the pictures and they like them. And, pe- and, the, pe- and the people, they react. That's yep. what, Sharing content, that's what this is. And then they're like, hey, can I have that for free? Right. Yeah. Well, please. Can uh, you draw me? Yeah, yeah. Can you draw me? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> um, I mean, I can if you give me full creative uh, leeway to right, do whatever right. the hell I yeah. want. Full creative uh, yeah. control. Yeah, I don't know. I'll draw you with an ass face if you right. ask me another time. <laughs> but the, 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 so, Matt, you're currently working on, on two bands, right? And I don't think we talked about, um, what was it? The Mazuko? Mazuko, yeah. Like, yeah. How's, how's Mazuko going right it's now? It's going great. Yeah. We got, like, we got bangers. Bangers lined up, man. Like, I know, I just listened to it just now, and it sounds a lot like new metal. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, like you're, yeah. um, I hear a little bit of Tool, and I'm not super familiar with new metal. I can, like, I know Slipknot's definitely an influence of you guys, right? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, and so, like, I'm just wondering, how, so you're, you're obviously working with my band, I mean, our, I call our band, I'm not, I'm not like that, but You're it, must be, it must be really um, interesting for you to be like half in a new metal band where you're working with insane time signatures, very loud and distorted guitars, and everyone's just like balls deep in the thing, and then when you're practicing, I'm like, hey man, just, like, just give me a little beat, and let's pop song out, let's yeah. get let's do the thing, you know, it's yeah. like, it's, uh, you, you really have a lot of, um, you're very open-minded as a musician, seems like you want to do a lot of things. Well, I feel like I feel like as a musician, you should try and, and push yourself, right? Yeah. Challenge yourself to play all all styles of music. At least yeah. at least from my perspective, I, I'm just I love music, right? Yeah. I like so many different genres and different you know types of artists and different styles of music. I just I don't know. It's fun. It's mm-hmm. fun to do, right? So yeah. I, I think um, you know, if you have fun doing something. And you should do it. And you should challenge yourself, especially in art and with music. You, you yeah. gotta challenge yourself if you're, you know, gonna be an artist. I think challenging yourself is key. Anything to preoccupy the mind. Really good yeah. art nourishes the soul. It can be yeah. music. It can be art. Like yesterday, I was having kind of a crap day. I mean, I'll, I'll get more into why I was having a crap day later, but I, I was like, I need some music to just comfort me right now. Yeah. I don't know what it was. And I yeah. was like, I went from Nirvana, then I listened to a little bit of shamisen music, and I'm like. Still not there. I'm getting somewhere. Then I got into the Harry Potter soundtrack. I'm like, all right, I like Western music, some strings, uh-huh. and then I finally landed on some Chopin. Okay. It's like the best of Chopin on, 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 on YouTube. And I think it's like okay. it's like Nocturne, whatever the fuck, in um, G minor. Right. And just there's something about the, the way Chopin expressed himself in his piano that is almost healing when you listen to right. him, when you listen to his music i just i sat on my bed and i stared at the ceiling for a solid five or seven minutes and just was entranced in the, the recording that was on my phone i'm like damn that's like that's that's someone who knew was who was his art man like he right. pushed himself and knew how to like not only um, probably feel satisfied as an artist himself but like like really speak to like generations of people and that's right. like the power of the art form if you get far enough man that's what we all kind of strive to do i think yeah yeah i think and, and how how something that sounds so simple maybe to one could really um, yeah, dude. you know create so many complex emotions right convey yeah. so many complex emotions across the board what are you listening to and how is it making you feel a certain way and i i think you know especially with you know classical music or piano music or even jazz music and all types of music they make you feel and think certain ways or yeah. at least when music is at its best it does yeah i'm sure there's you know there's music out there you listen to it it's, you know it's kind of shit yeah i mean <laughs> this isn't this is a, it's kind of repulsive it makes me want to turn it off yeah there's there's definitely shit music but, but yeah you know like in, in your case so you're able to find you know you, you went around listen yeah. to everything they made you feel certain ways but mm-hmm. it wasn't speaking to you in the yeah. way that you wanted to until you found that that right style of music yeah because it makes you feel a very specific way. I think Chopin is just like there's, life. Life has been very. I don't want. I don't want to be like too negative or anything. Because like I, I know things are gonna get better. But I definitely find myself in a in a darker time in my life because I'm yeah. not. Because I ha- I have a lot of plans. I have an idea of what I want to do. But a lot of 
circumstances globally i feel like are keeping me from being able to do so and i really i really mean that like you know the people who who will always tell you it's like you you can do whatever and don't let the world keep you back it's like no they're like like governmental restrictions the law is in my way (laughs) and like if i ideally if i were to do exactly what i wanted to do right now those restrictions would have to be taken out of place and so like i can't I can't travel. I can't see like some of my friends. I can't like go abroad and mm. like work a few years and get some cultural experience that I can yeah, take back. Yeah. And I'm too stubborn to establish myself here in <laughs> Wisconsin and like you know get get like a super full time job. So yeah. in the meantime, I'm like, okay, I gotta make music because I can do that anywhere. Yeah. I can draw and try to talk to folks on YouTube, right? Yeah. And so like the thing about like this podcast, I think that's really you know interesting for me is like I have to figure out how to communicate with the people who listen to it. And right. I don't know if you saw the video that I posted called On Male Loneliness, yeah. like, like maybe like a month ago. Yeah, yeah. And like I, I was I was just like, I was having a bit of, bit of a bad day. Yeah. And it seems like I'm always having bad days. Now. What the <laughs> fuck's wrong with me? But yeah, like like the way I cope is is like to, to use one of those media to you know forget about the moment. Like, okay, I'm going to deal with my problems in a very creative way and maybe I can distract myself for a brief right. period of time. And like I, I just discussed, like, hey, you know, when you're a guy, man, it's like people ain't calling you beautiful, they ain't calling you pretty all the time. You yeah. know, your value isn't really like, like maybe may, may, maybe you'll get called like fucking hideous or ugly at some point in, in your life. People right. are joking with you, or maybe, maybe they're even not. But like for the most part, I feel like because dudes don't. I was just I just I, I just thought, you know, a lot a lot of guys probably feel like they don't have inherent value, and that's why right. there's like the chase. To be a good artist, to yeah. be a good musician, to be right. like a good something because they want to prove themselves to their own existence. Or right. a feeling that they have to be something. Exactly. Right? They have to do this. Or they have to. And everyone, I think at some point in their lives, feels a sense of failure that they haven't reached their ideal. Yeah, or even that pressure. And like I was just a little, I was mildly overwhelmed because the thing's almost got 2,000 views now. Yeah. You know, and like I just... I, I don't post to YouTube ever, so I'm like, yeah. I obviously got my foot in the algorithm a little bit, mm. but it shed light on like how many dudes just feel kind resonate of, with that message. Yeah, yeah, and it's 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 tough, man, because like you 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 get into that you get into that subject and people immediately want to make fun of it. It's like, oh, you talk about men's problems and men's right, rights, and I'm right. like, dude, I'm not even I'm not doing that. I just I just said like, hey, you know, man, a dude seems like. It's has its difficult moments being a girl can be difficult at times too and then right. yeah just uh all those comments was kind of overwhelming to me i don't yeah. know if you if you watched the thing if you had yeah, like yeah, your no, own yeah, opinions to share on the matter but. well well i think um a lot of a lot of people men and men and women but i guess particularly men are scared to be vulnerable yeah, in dude. situations right yeah right because i mean especially on the internet it's so easy for people just to attack you yeah. Or for people to say discouraging things or mean things to you. Yeah. And um, to be able to have the courage to be vulnerable and to say, you know, let's talk about how I'm feeling or yeah. let's talk about a certain way of, um, you know, what I'm experiencing right now. Yeah. Um, it's like, it's hard for a lot of people to do. So I think it's good, yeah. you know, when you're posting a video about it that other people can go on the comments and be like yeah you know i feel that way too yeah and maybe they didn't feel or didn't you know didn't feel like they had the courage to say those things until they saw that video yeah you know i mean you know because it's like when one person speaks out yeah a whole bunch of other people come forward you ever been uh cyber bullied on the internet at all to a to a major degree has you ever been like you know ridiculed online it's ever happened to you i've been in many internet wars (laughs) <laughs> you yeah. do tell yeah. what the fuck does that mean yeah well there's 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 like crazy times on the internet on forum boards and in video games and in communities yeah um, dude. you know back in 2012 2013 2014 yeah where um wild shit happened dude it was it was fucking crazy i mean so many so many different, you know, people backstabbing. So many plots. People trying to get power. Mm-hmm. You know, so many different things. Like but, in games, you mean? Yeah, in video game communities. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, uh, it's crazy. Right. People trying to get mod moderator positions, or right. administrator positions, trying to get involved, trying to get into the money. Yeah. You know, it's wild. There's there's internet politics. There's internet wars, dude. Yeah. And I think, um, yeah. 
that's just a part of being on the internet. You're going to get attacked. And it's fun. I think yeah. it's, I think, you know, it happens and everybody's susceptible right. to it. And in the moment, maybe you might be angry. Yeah. And it might be really uh, discouraging. But right. at the end of the day, you know, use it to your advantage. It's the internet. Yeah, I guess you it's know? true. It's just, it's weird. And how... at the end of the day, you, you know, yeah. you are who you are. You're, you're okay. You're going to be all right. I gotta be careful with my word choice a little bit because no, like, like seriously, because like I'm trying, I'm trying so hard not to be quickly categorized into one side of like you know any any spectrum. Yeah. Like when you when you talk about an issue or something that like you know people are still you know fighting about on the internet like today, but like I um like they take the term like cancel culture right okay. like people think of the term cancel culture as like a one sided term that's only used by people who don't like um don't like it when they have to. I'm trying to steal men when they have to, when they have to take responsibility for something heinous that they might have said and or done yeah. in the past. And yeah. some people are like, "No, that's complete bullshit." You know, free speech is important. And some people are like, "Well, if you're morally corrupt, and society's going to see that, and I want to make sure that everyone, um, everybody, you know, puts you in your place." I definitely yeah. am more I'm like, "Fuck you," just let let people express themselves. Right, you know, but. And people change, you know. People people say things. Maybe they said something in the past, or thought something was funny in the past, or thought it was yeah. the right thing, and then they, you know, grow out of it, realize their mistakes, and yeah, dude. change completely. Don't say those things anymore. Act that way, or yeah. do those things. And so, why should we uh, still be? hating on them or bringing them down i mean well yeah yeah yeah. especially people who get canceled right well, they already got canceled it's okay i it's, I, over. it's over with i actually did, i got like i don't want to say i got canceled but like you know ever in like a sub um in a subculture i was definitely partially canceled yeah. like a while ago because yeah. like i my my ex-girlfriend i don't want to like go i'm not gonna i wish her all the best i wish her <laughs> all the best and i'm not going to say anything negative about her on a podcast because yeah. that's unprofessional and I'm better than that. Yeah. However, like, you know, at the time we uh, when we were dating, we um, got ourselves a little bit in the political sphere because, you know, she said something a little inflammatory mm. on Facebook that yeah. definitely, like, did not go with everybody who was watching her feed. And because, like, she, she, she had, like, had... She had like a, a real foot in that subculture, right? Yeah. So like people watched her stories, they were engaged with her Instagram, and the people who she didn't even know who like really appreciated, you know what she did, and I I really admired that. And then some the, some of the wisdom that I I took from it though is after she said the one inflammatory thing, like half the people who followed her instantly turned and started using just the worst of epithets to describe her. Yeah. They like they doxed her, they made. YouTube videos and how terrible of a person she was yeah. and tried to really like like slander her character because yeah. they didn't agree with like her um her view of the world and like right. at the time you know I kind of felt a little bit responsible because you know we had talked about that behind closed doors right. before she decided to post it on Facebook and um like she did this live stream right, right. she did a live stream where um you know, she tried to clarify what she meant, which, you know, in hindsight, it's a really dumb idea. You shouldn't do that. Like, <laughs> Never, just like well, it, it wasn't my, it wasn't, yeah. that wasn't my idea. I was just there for the moment. And yeah. I, 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 she did the live stream and then obviously like a lot of angry people on the internet came to, um, you know, basically tell her you're an idiot and you shouldn't open your mouth about you know, these issues because you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And I'm there and, and I'm thinking like, well, she wouldn't have said that if I didn't have that conversation with her like a month ago and it was just in kind of in passing. So I stepped in for a brief second. I'm like, this is what she meant. This is as clear as I can make it. Let's, uh, let's move on from the, this, this, this controversy and let's be friends, you know? Cause like yeah. I, I have like a, a certain perspective on this, but I'm open to change. Right. I don't think I made it that clear at the time, but then like the live stream ended and like, I just didn't really think about it from, from, um, for, uh, you know a moment and then all of a sudden like the next day somebody had taken that live stream they they recorded it and they posted it on youtube and they were like la 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 like like you know tristan blum and you know ex-girlfriend yeah. racist video oh. i know right <laughs> and it got like one hundred thousand views holy shit I, yeah i got about a hundred thousand <laughs> or two hundred thousand views. i'm not fucking with you like this actually happened to me that's insane right yeah. i know it was wild yeah. when it happened like i was just i was so shocked by yeah. how 
like about the repercussions of like even the smallest right. of ideas that you might have right. because she decided to make that Facebook right. post. So her reputation changed after that. Yeah. We obviously had our, our differences, you know, um, in the months following, and I split up with her. But like the thing that I really got from it is like I've I've been in I've been in those crosshairs, man. Right. I've had people try to dox me and if like said some pretty horrible things about like even my family my appearance you know my, my, my artwork right. and after that happened like it really hurt in the moment you know when you have so much negative attention pointed at you at yeah. one time yeah. but then like once you hit that rock bottom as i say in fight club it's like once you hit that rock that <laughs> lowest rock bottom it's yeah. like the only way the only way is up and yeah. it like it doesn't it doesn't scare me in the same way anymore because i'm like you know what like no matter what i do no matter what I say, and um, and on the internet, there's always going to be somebody who's pissed off at me, right, or disagrees, and yeah. I just have to accept that. Yeah. And like, I I can wish them well. I can be like, hey, I'm open to a dialogue where like, maybe you're more informed about, about something than I am. I'm not taking a really hard stance. Yeah. But like, don't get so mad, man. It's like we're all we're all in this together, and right. that's what like, um, that's another thing that I really took from it is you know it really is so hard on on somebody when you when you put so much pressure on them for like thinking one way and so i think of celebrities now okay. right yeah i think of celebrities who are like actually canceled or like you know their their contracts are are um right no longer terminated right. exactly their jobs their roles get canceled and what you don't see is you don't yeah. see that celebrity like alone in their house you don't see that yeah. celebrity pondering what's happening to them and yeah. how difficult it probably is yeah. and i've had like a i've had like a a little empathy towards towards you know those those folks now like like the Johnny Depp case or whatever where like yeah. apparently you know his girlfriend um, lied about a lot of what happened but uh, we didn't see like cut his finger off or something I don't know what that happened but something wild <laughs> I'm going on a long tangent but the whole the whole thing is like you you I try to have a little bit more empathy towards people when I'm um, you know judging them on the internet because I'm like you you can easily be anonymous yeah. and you, you're anonymous in this very little cost of you putting a shitty comments on youtube right, you can say whatever you want exactly yeah. but like there is a cost that that person might um, um there is a cost in that you might really affect that person yeah. for being you know for saying like something stupid and right. i mean at the end of the day suck it up buttercup you know there's nothing much that you can do yeah. but the least i can advocate for is to be a little more conscientious of um you know what you say and how you interact with people on the internet because I don't know. It's like you forget that they're real people. Right. At know? the end of the day, there are people. Yeah. Behind the behind the uh, the screen. Right. And that was <laughs> behind just... the username. Hmm. So that's when you were talking when I asked you like, "Hey, have you ever been actually been canceled before?" Yeah. No. No, I haven't. No. no. But I but know. I mean I mean I've been perma banned. Perma banned. Yeah. Perma banned as in like from like a, a server or something. Yeah. Yeah. Multiple times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What like, happened to you? Oh well, I mean, you know. People didn't like me because I would kill them all the time in the video. Oh, because you were better at them. Oh, Be better, better at the game than them. Yeah, kind of, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I would smack for people in the game, and um, they didn't like it. Oh yeah. And I was really good at getting people to, you know, get into a situation where they you know, would shoot at me. Yeah. Yeah. I would just say, you know, say what I had to say to get them to shoot at me. Word. And then I'd be able to shoot at them. Killed him every time. <laughs> what game was that? Gary's Mom, man. You yeah. ever play Gary's Mom? No, I haven't oh, played okay. that one. Yeah, Gary's Mom, man. It was, it was a wild, a wild place. People said all types of things. I need to play some video games. I need yeah. to play more video games. Yeah, I don't know. But, um, you know, I got I got permanent banned from communities no. where, you know, they said, oh, I crossed the line. Yeah. And, um, you know, they let me back after a couple months. That's surprising. Whatever. So, like, you, 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 you were being the asshole is what you're saying, essentially. No, not really. No, you weren't? Okay. I mean, I mean, I just was doing what I had to do. You had to do. I don't know, because, like, I, I know you would be, like, such a such a warm and kind guy. You know what I mean? I, it's hard for me to really think of you as as mean or, like, like in any any in any capacity, able to, you know. Yeah. No, no. It's just, like, in a, on, you know, in the video game, when, when you kill somebody. Yeah. You know, people don't like that. Word. Me, you know, when I die in a video game, it's, it's whatever. Right. All right? It's going to happen. It's right. a video game. It's a but for game. some people, their emotions get invested. 
with their character in mm-hmm. the game, especially on Dark RP. It's like a role play server, mm-hmm. right? And so people really take their character seriously, take what they were doing really seriously. And to me, you know, the only reason why I was playing is because my friends were playing and I just wanted to shoot some people. Mm-hmm. So, you know, <laughs> one thing led to another. Yeah. You know, they shoot at me. No, you know, I could shoot at them. They had gangs. You could join a gang in the game. Mm-hmm. And then you could shoot at the other gang members. Yeah, that's... um Those online spaces, like... Was it open, wa- yeah. open world? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All yeah. right. So many open world games. I remember when World of Warcraft was the first well, There's like, one. you know, there's different styles, like Trouble and Terrorist on here. You hear that? No. Okay. But, like, okay, so, like, so like, you're, hunt. you're a PC gamer, right? Yeah, yeah but I started out on, on, you know... Genesis, uh, right. 16-bit, right. and uh, PlayStation 1, shit like that. You had that. a PlayStation 1? Yeah. And you're younger than me, man. What the fuck? Like, I, PlayStation I had, 1 was yeah. when I was a baby. Yeah, I had a Genesis, a PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. Play, you know, I was a PlayStation guy. I never had Xbox. I never had Xbox. Yeah. Were you like, were all the hand-me-downs, or like, did you get those at like a used game store? What, what, what was yeah, it? yeah. My my dad would find them like at Roman Chills and like get them for like really cheap. That's wild, yeah. man. Because my my dad, that's like my, and my dad. And my dad played games too. Weird. Yeah. Okay. He was older, but he played. He still played games. He's a gamer. <laughs> so you have a dad gamer too. Yeah, but he doesn't play games anymore. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he 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 was gaming back in the day. I just I find that like kind of kind of shocking. Yeah, Street like, Fighter Two, man. I had Street Fighter Two on Genesis. Uh, Hadouken. Yeah, yeah. On Genesis yeah. sixteen. Right. Golden um, Axe. Yeah, first the first uh, couple Sonic games I had on there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Duke, uh, Duke Nukem on PlayStation One. I never had a Genesis and I never had a PlayStation. I, I had a PlayStation What's One. The Spyro the Purple Dragon. That was PlayStation One. Now. PlayStation One. Yeah, I had that too. I think. Um, See, PlayStation 1, I don't think, is, is as well-remembered oh, as dude, PlayStation yeah. 2. Dude, the PlayStation 1 was sick. And you used to get these demo discs, and the demo yeah. discs had, like, a whole bunch of games on there. Wow. And, you, like, a whole bunch of levels. It's like, you know, it was wild. PlayStation 1 was a cool, it was a dope time. Did you play with PlayStation with the DualShock, or did you play it with uh, the, the standard, like, D-pad controller? Yeah, it was PlayStation 1 controller. Like, not, not, not with the analog sticks? Yeah, without analog sticks. Without analog yeah. sticks. And they, shit. and they have ones with analog sticks, too. Yeah, they, they, I, that's what I said. Like, uh, yeah, and they have one with just the one analog stick yeah. as well. I I got to play some PlayStation 1 games. And maybe there's yeah, any... I've, been, I've been wanting to buy one. PlayStation 1 again. Yeah? Yeah. Just Wait. play it. It's cool. Wait. <laughs> It's a good gaming right there too, especially yeah. PlayStation Two as well. You have, you, do you have PlayStation Two? I grew up with play like the when I think about my the my peak gaming years, the game the years I played the most. I was PS Two, into PS Three and Wii. Okay, those are my, that 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 was the triad I had. Okay. And then I think occasionally my dad would go downstairs and he would get his SNES out and then he would like play oh, some old okay. old fucking games. Yeah, yeah. No, I never but, never had an NES experience. Nintendo was uh, I, I was always a Nintendo guy growing up. Yeah, and I, I, mean, I, st- I still like Nintendo. I think they're kind of um, they're they're fucking up recently. I can tell you about that. If you want. <laughs> it's like so like game emulation is something that you probably very familiar. Yeah, with, yeah, I've right? emulated some games. Oh, I played Game Boy. Did you play Game Boy? I play Game Boy Advance. Yeah, yeah, I had, yeah, I had Game Boy Advance. Yeah. Never had Game Boy or Game Boy Color though. Okay. You had Game Boy Color? No. no. Okay, it was Game Boy Advance, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Game Boy. The, the flip one. Yeah, the SP. Yeah, the SP. Yeah, With the backlit yeah. screen. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, I had I had Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Okay, yeah, I had a lot of, like Dragon Ball games, all types of games. On Those there. are the times before the DS, before the PSP. Yeah, yeah, I had a DS too. Yeah. I mean, the, the first generation. Like games. the like the clunky fucking yeah. piece of shit one. Yeah. That kind of looked like it was an SP if it had cancer. Yeah. 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 That was a. Uh, oh man, that was um, like twenty years ago that the SP came out, but yeah, like the. We, we, we were talking about Nintendo fucking up and game emulation. So, right. the, 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 do you have a Switch? No. Don't have a Switch. Okay, nope. so, like, I'm sure a lot of people listening to this definitely have Switches and they're yeah. familiar with uh, the NES. They're, they're familiar with the Nintendo Family Expansion Pack, which, I mean. Yeah, like, they have all the old school games on there. Well, they're, they came out with, like, an old school um, package that you can get for a subscription that you pay every month. Right, and I think like if in a single subscription it's forty nine bucks, yeah, and you get twelve N sixty four games and you get twelve Genesis games, right? And the the catch is like all emulations are 
a lot worse than what you can probably find for free on the internet yeah. for one and you're paying forty nine dollars I think every year for a yearly subscription. It's a subscription service. It's a subscription. Oh, I hate it. Yeah. yeah, it's not. It, you know, it's not a one-time pay. It's a subscription service. That's pain. So you pay forty-nine dollars every year, so that you can pay, play poor, probably poorly emulated N sixty-four games. I heard that yeah. they're like, um, the emulation is such that like there there are missing textures. They're like like sometimes the the fog texture. I'm sorry, the fog effect in the N sixty-four doesn't work well, and like, um, the for for people coming from like veteran N sixty four gamers, veteran Genesis gamers, like they come to the the Switch service. They're like, actually forty nine dollars every year for these emulations that don't even hold up to the original system. Like, yeah. are you are you kidding? Yeah, it's not worth it. And that's that, that's like, Nintendo just is getting a little greedy for the money. Yeah, because like, I heard they, they've made so much fucking cash from Switch, man. There's there's no there's no, no debating that. Wow. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the Switch is insanely popular, I know that. You don't have a Switch, though, Wes. No, I don't. And, I mean, you know, a lot of people are into Smash Bros. and Mario Kart. What, what, what Nintendo games do you like? Uh, I'm not much of a Nintendo guy. What, are you a communist? Yeah, I'm just not much of a Nintendo guy, man. Ah. I was never really, you know, Yeah. was crazy into Nintendo. Never played Zelda. No. Never played Zelda? No, never. What, and you watch Player 2? Yeah. Ah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, it's just a game. <laughs> uh, I got yeah. I guess I guess it's fun, but we still got to have you on for um, player two one of these days, and maybe yeah. like what we fun. what we do normally on that show though is when the guest is on, we're like maybe we have the guest pick a game, okay. and it's like a one shot episode. Yeah. So you you um <laughs> you pick whatever game you want, Spelunky. and we play for an hour, and then just do some commentary, but. I don't know what games would, would would come to mind for you that you'd want to do. No, it'd have to be a funny game. You you ever play Spore? Uh, <laughs> is that that is that that evolution game? Yeah. Like you, oh my god, that game never ends. I remember I remember I had a friend who played Spore when I was a kid. Spore, man. And it never ends because the character keeps evolving, and after a while, I'm yeah. like, I get kind of dizzy. <laughs> Oh man, that's yeah. There's some good ones out there, man. That's 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 going well over 10, 12 years ago. Yeah. Damn, I'm old. I can't believe I'm twenty three, man. It's the dawn of a new age. Oh, we live in a different time. You you just turned twenty one like a few months ago, though, right? In April. It, well, that's not a few months ago anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's almost the end of this year. Ugh. Yeah, it is almost the end of this year. It's, it's mid November. You think um? Do you think we're gonna? return to normal next year you think we're finally going to be out of it we'll see we'll see we'll see I think we'll go back to 2019 honestly 2014 yeah that'd be nice I feel like it's been since 2014 since anything has felt normal yeah right personally we'll see word but I mean, things are really interesting with the uh, hyperinflation that we're experiencing do you know anything about that um a little bit so what's going on with hyperinflation well every th- price on the brick is going up Price on the bricks going up everywhere, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I've, I've heard that. I've heard well, well, I because well, I haven't. It's going up, man. <laughs> I haven't done. I haven't taken the time to really read an article or engage with it. I do know that inflation. It's like okay, well, like the worth of your your yeah, buying power keep essentially printing decreases. printing more fucking money. Wow. Yeah. We're gonna be broke, man. We, the value of the dollars is going down as we speak right now. It's, it's losing, that bad? It's losing value right now. <laughs> it's crazy. Fuck! Yeah, dude. You I'm just got so- like you got a twenty dollar bill in your pocket. Shit, nineteen fifty. It's by, nice. the, by the end of this podcast, nineteen fifty. No, I don't know. I mean, I don't I, think, I'm it's, just, I'm I don't sure think it's, not, it's that bad. It's but. it's probably <laughs> no because I, I it's I think definitely that, bad, but it's, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's still that's still a lie because. I don't really, I'm not, I'm not an economist. I don't really study like economics or anything, but like I, w- I will say from what I've, from what I have read, um, online is like, usually the minimum wage is, I think it's a, an increase like every 10 years mm-hmm. and that's, that's like, I don't know, every time that they, they boost it. So, I mean, given that, I mean, I don't know, I mean, without even really doing any research at all, it's like, maybe it's time because... Seven fifty in two thousand nine. Sorry, seven twenty five in two thousand nine. Probably, uh, probably won't get you. Sorry, would you get a lot farther with seven twenty five in two thousand nine than you would now? Probably. One hundred percent. Man, I don't think about those sorts of things. Well, it's like what I think the statistic was: uh, five dollars 
or no, seven dollars in nineteen seventy yeah. is worth fifty dollars now. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, here. Get yeah, the yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Seven dollars in nineteen seventy is worth fifty dollars now. <laughs> yeah. You're full of shit. No. Really? Oh god. What the hell is that? A wild noise. All right, all right. Seven. Let's see, where's the converter? All right, seven seventy four in nineteen seventy. All right, the big reveal. No, let's see what was. F- All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to look this up too. All right, how about this? Five hundred dollars in nineteen seventies equivalent purchasing power of about three thirty five hundred dollars today. Well, I'll be damned, man. That's uh, that's some inflation. That is that has been and that is inflated a lot. Seventy eight dollars in nineteen seventy. It's five hundred fifty four. Uh, five hundred fifty six dollars no today. Way. Yeah, hold up. Holy shit. Seven seven dollars in nineteen seventies worth forty nine ninety today. That's not. That's you're out of fucking. You're out of your I'm mind. I'm serious. What? Look. It's okay. true. Okay, so like with $7 See, in 1970. I told you, I was on the money, dude. You could have bought a video game for 7 bucks. Yeah. A video, well, I mean, like it's it's just. I was it's on a, the money, dude, I told you. Oh, uh, inflation. I, I told you I was on the money. Well, whatever. I, so that's that's going to be something that I'll, I'll look into for like the next podcast. But like, okay, man, we got we to gotta actually figure out what we're doing here. Because like, I just, I decided <laughs> to do it with you last week because I'm like, Every time I do it with Lana, Lana's like, oh, I hate podcasts. I just say, yeah. it, it's just, it takes so long to edit. And I'm like, I'll edit them. And then she's like, I don't have anything interesting to say. I'm like, bullshit. Yeah. You have all the interesting things to say. Yeah, Lana's got things to say. Yes, she does. Yes. Just fuck, say. Lana, them. if you're listening to this, you have things to she's say. She's not listening yeah, to this. She's not. No. She's, <laughs> she's, yeah, she's not listening She's to definitely this. not. No. It's just, this is just a thumbnail for her. <laughs> yeah, I probably, I don't even, whatever. Um, the... Yeah, the because like, I I I, I want to know what kind of topics I should broach. This is just like a normal podcast because I just want to get together once a week yeah. where like I can get out my notebook and be like, oh man, did you hear about fucking Britney Spears? Right. Uh, uh, so actual topics. Third third tip. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Something that 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 occupies people. Right. Like I'm also thinking like for the, for for the sake of not. Um, having like the longest editing time to keep it below about 30 minutes. Yeah. So like, I feel like that's, that's pretty good for people's attention span too, because I don't know. Do you ever, do you ever click on a three hour YouTube video and actually listen to like even a third of it? Um, I think, well, I, yeah, I have, but it's like, I haven't just sat there and listened to it. It's just like something in the background. Yeah. Like, you know, while I go do draw some drawing or something. <laughs> Want to go do some drugs? Yeah, yeah. Well, I go do some drugs. I got the podcast in the background for three hours. It takes yeah. three hours to do whatever drugs we're talking about here. Right. But um, <laughs> oh, dude, I like speaking of drugs, man. I had some Delta Eight yesterday. I was Schmelta uh, Eight. Oh, it was just, that was too much for me. Yeah, dude. They have like Delta Ten too. Like Is Delta that. Ten legal now? Yeah, and Delta X like Delta Infinity. I, I, the Delta 8, I didn't even know it was a thing until about two months ago, but I, like. It's all right. If, for, look, for, for true stoners, I imagine they're like, eh, whatever. That's it, it, all right. The thing about smoking weed for me, man, is I always, I'm transported into another dimension every yeah. time. And for the people who do it every day, I'm like, how do you do that to yourself? Yeah, no, it's pretty intense. It's, it's intense. Like the clarity you get from when you smoke. You know what I mean? Yeah. The clarity you get from like doing mind altering substances. Yeah. It's like I only do it a handful of times every year when I need to. Yeah. For the people who do it all the time, it's like, does your mind just melt? Do you become a new person right. after a while? Yeah, just like it's, it's like personality reset. Yeah. For some people. Ego death, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. I never really feel like I'm not really sure if it's possible to have an ego death through THC maybe a high enough amount well I mean just gen- in general like uh, not just weed like anything uh, anything that you're doing yeah. well, ego death happens man. yeah ego death is what, what, what is it described as like you just you you stop putting so much emphasis on on your sense of self you like become one with everything and recognize that you're I, I don't know I always thought that the ego death was just like 
you know, si- simulating the, like death of your like personality, like your current personality. Yeah. And when you come out of it, it's like you're born as like a new. This is like a new version of yourself. Yeah. And maybe you've come to appreciate new things, or you've realized some things that maybe you didn't understand before. I mean, you I have a different outlook on life that you didn't have before. I got really, really, really high yesterday, okay. and you're talking about appreciating new things. Yeah. Yeah? yeah, and like I, I that was something that I don't know if it's because I get more emotional whenever I smoke, or yeah. if I just like I start to take in more empathetically because I care about like the, my friends and my family. And yeah. like when I was smoking weed, I guess I just I started to ponder everything that I do and how it affects other people in a way that I I was able to remove myself. Right. You know what I mean? Sure. So it's like I don't know if you've um you ever cheated or whatever, right? Like you think about the past, yeah, right? If you sure. like you, you've been stupid in the past and you, you you decided to cheat in the moment. You're like, whatever, I'll get away with this because it's the the the, the short term consequences are too great not to um uh, the short term consequences are too great not to pass up. Right. And like maybe you make that decision in the moment, but like you know four years later, you think about what you did. Yeah. And you're like, I made a decision for myself without thinking about. Just how much I probably could have wrecked somebody if right. I am in deciding to do that. Right. Like you know how, like somebody puts so much trust into you, mm-hmm. and then like you just like yeah fuck that I just want to get laid anyway. Right. Yeah, and right. then like years later, like you know when you smoke weed, you think about things like that. And you're like, wow, I'm an idiot. Wow, yeah, I hurt somebody. Gives you a new new perspective. You know they think or a that, new layer of empathy. That's what weed does to me. It, it yeah. really makes me empathetic towards yeah. people, and it makes me like really sad because. Every time I'm done smoking, I'm like, I have to tell everybody in my life that I love them. Yeah. <laughs> I have to tell everybody in my life that they matter yeah. and that I really appreciate that they're around and I want to make sure I don't hurt them willingly. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. That's, I don't know, that's what weed does to me. But. Yeah, it does it does different things to everybody, right? Everybody reacts to it differently. Any, any um, wild moments from you recently? Uh, not recently, but um, I remember some years ago, Smoked once and uh, the world was sideways, bro. <laughs> <laughs> world was sideways. The world was sideways. X axis became the Y axis. Yeah, and man. Was so you... crazy. We were, me and my buddy were walking on an angle. <laughs> Shit was crazy. <laughs> So. You're making me think of like one of those beat like like you know those mirrors and like, like those rooms with mirrors and like yeah like you you look into them and everything is like distorted and every yeah, mirror has a different on a shape. Fucking angle, a forty five degree angle, man. It's crazy. That's funny. That's yeah. funny, but yeah. Oh, shit. Does, does different things to everybody. Hey, I don't, I don't know. I, just, I, gotta... I think uh, I think sometimes people, I think how you, maybe, you know, some people kind of trigger the way they want to go into it. And it kind of shapes how their high might turn out. Maybe if someone is like thinking, oh, I just want to like fucking smoke weed, just get fucked up and have fun or whatever and be loopy, right? Yeah. They might be, you know have like a really loopy fun high where they might not be preoccupied by their conscious or their thoughts right Mm -hmm. but sometimes there's a scenario where maybe you smoke and now you're thinking about certain things and you're just extrapolating and extrapolating on those things over and over and over and over and over again Mm -hmm. and i just think there's like different different times Mm -hmm. where you know depending on your state of mind yeah where your high will be different based off of what you're thinking I mean there's good reason that so many cultures around the world have described like mind altering sal- substances as like you know religious yeah. substances yeah. with religious experiences attached to them mm-hmm. which is uh, yeah I just I don't know because I, I, I when I smoked last night man you talk about how you extrapolate from yeah, um, from like all the experiences you're thinking about that was the first time I'd been high like that in well over four years yeah. oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like the difference is though it's like four years ago I had a high like that and it, I was overnight new person I felt like I woke up and I was right. somebody else right. like that person died along with that high okay. whereas yesterday it was like I think it's a testament to maybe my mental strength in that I still feel like me I just endured a lot of the um, the clarity that 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 high had given me because yeah. like I think a lot of what happens when you smoke weed is or like any of these substances is you you just you start to 
face things that you don't want to mm. like it's almost like it's put in front of you right like you know from the back of your subconscious now exactly it's, now it's brought to the forefront forefront yeah. of your right. conscious yeah, right 100 it's just consciousness is so weird man yeah. I mean, but i th but i think that's I, that's why i think it's um you know it's one of the benefits yeah uh, i don't want to say like you know i don't give a crap man say what you want well no no i'm not gonna say like yeah go fucking you know do drugs and shit but i do think that at some point in your life it's like essential to experience yeah. something mind altering in that sense so that you can gain that different type of perspective yeah i think it's important well if, if i do my research a little bit more i'll be able to use the proper terminology but it, as far as i stand it's just like just stay away from heroin cocaine and alcohol yeah don't do fentanyl don't well don't <laughs> dead i mean you're dead don't, yeah don't do fentanyl like no, I, there's I, people out there that do that do it man. i mean a mutual friend of mine passed away from um, i find no overdose yeah it's just so. no joke it's that shit's laced in all sorts of drugs so i don't know i just <sighs> well, yeah, it's synthetic they make it order and chaos man yep you sound like jordan peterson <laughs> <laughs> oh Oh my, I'm Jordan Peterson. What are we going to do with all the, without all the men? <laughs> yeah, I like Jordan Peterson. But yeah. he, that, that, <laughs> even I watched that and I'm like, I could totally see how people who don't like Jordan Peterson will watch this and they'll find it fucking hilarious. Yeah. What are we going to do without all the men? <laughs> it's like, uh, how do you, how do you say something like that without sounding? Yeah. That's not like, Jordan Peterson's a character, man. Oh yeah. 100% character. I, uh, I dig him. I, th I think he's a he's a good guy. I'll have to like bring him up in another podcast. I think we're about eight twenty five, so we're forty minutes in. You want to like wrap it up? Because okay. it's like at this point, is it really forty minutes? Yeah, we're about forty minutes All in. Right. It's like if I if I can get somebody else to edit these with me, then um. It's not the real time, by the way. But the minutes the same, right? Yeah. Yeah, the minutes the same. So whatever. <laughs> who, who cares, man? If the minutes the same, that's all I need to know. So I'm gonna go wrap it up. However, thank you so much for listening to uh, the the Bo Humble Pantras podcast, the the Bo the Be Oddcast. <laughs> the, I don't know, man. You should you should you should you should um, post some to your own channel as well. We gotta direct all the folks to your content. Yeah, I got some I got some stuff on my channel. Word, anything that you wanna that you wanna um, what do you call it? flex? What is it? No, not flex. Any. Well, yeah, so I, I've got data moshing, like, um, lo-fi, like, edits on my channel right now. Yeah. That I've done over the year, like, a couple years now. Yeah. So, you know, what data moshing is, is when you, like, break the screen with pixels and shit. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I just have, like, my own music that I put in the background or whatever. Like, old hip-hop beats, old school hip-hop beats yeah. and shit. If you want to use that for, like, an outro or whatever yeah i have a whole bunch of stuff and on uh soundcloud too <laughs> check out my soundcloud man yeah check it out uh, bo bo on soundcloud it's on there hey um matt i, I actually tried finding some of the links last time and i wasn't able to get them so just mm -hmm. send it to me when you're done right. and then for you folks once you, once you look at matt stuff like i know you're here for uh for tantra humble and for me and matt's talk and my like navel gazing you know uh talking head videos and this jordan peterson impression oh 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 no, I'm Jordan Peterson. I, I grew up way the hell up north in Alberta. Okay, uh, but if you wanna if you wanna watch Player Two with with Coyote Small TV, good Zelda content, lots of dick jokes. Lots of dick jokes. Lots of dick jokes. Lots of Phall phallic, very phallic. No intellectual substance. So if you want to break from that, I'm not even trying. To, I'm not tooting my own horn here, but like really, like just the lack thereof. Yeah, if you want some dopamine. Just <laughs> click on some player two. I'll yeah. leave a player two clip towards the end here, so that you know you can um, uh, enjoy it, and then maybe I'll put some of Matt's music um, in there too. So, there you go. all right. Well, then on to next week. Next week. Next week. See ya. Whatever. Boom. Till next time. This is gonna be a fucking pro maneuver. Wow, that was amazing. What did you learn to do that? Did you, like, fucking practice all day so that you could throw something and it bounce back and kill you? Yes. Is that your, is that your special yes. move? Dude, that was instant karma. Oh. I had that. I had